In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best coverage defense that I like to use against the Gun Bunch meta offense in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just lets you stay up to date with the latest videos that we release related to helping you get better at the game on both sides of the ball here on our channel. In this video, we're talking about the nickel 335 odd cover six style of defense. But before we get into the defense, I wanted to first point out to you guys that if you've not already picked up my nickel 335 odd uh, defensive guide out of the New York Giants playbook, we've also included the big nickel over G and we're going to be including some other concepts throughout the year in that defense for you guys. I would really encourage you to think about getting it. I think that the 335 odd is the best way to send pressure in this game. It's really, really good. You can have two man pressure that will actually come in against max protect, um, which you can actually set that pressure up out of this base coverage shell out of the gun bunch. It also has just phenomenal pressure for a lot of different types of situational uh, things that will be very helpful. So I would encourage you, if you've not already picked up the guide, it's only $15. Um, and it's a one-time purchase. It's not a recurring thing. It's a one-time purchase, 15 bucks. You get the guide and you get the guide forever. So I would encourage you to pick that up. There's gonna be a link in the description down below this video. So you just head down to the description. There's a link with the website on it where you can go get the guide. Um, you just click that little link. It'll take you right there and you can take care of that. Um, just super, super simple. But I would encourage you if you guys want to get this defensive guide, it's the best defense that I've seen in competitive circles. A lot of people are having trouble beating this defense. If the person running this knows what they're doing, and uh, we teach you how to do that in the defensive guide. So anyways, all that to say, let's get into the coverage against Gun Bunch. And normally we're gonna come out in LB Cross to show two, but because it's a coverage video, I just wanted to kind of break down the coverage. From a zone drops perspective, if you take a look here, you're gonna notice that my uh, curl flats are gonna be on five, and I'm gonna put my flats on 25, my hooks on five. Uh, I like to use those zone drops. You might bump these to 30, you might bump them down to 20. Just depends on kind of what they're doing. Um, or another one of my favorites is this right here, especially if they're running things like flood concepts or things like that. So let's go with the five and let's go with the, let's go with the 15, the five and the five for right now. So anyways, the cover six coverage. And all we're going to do is we're gonna spread our line. We're gonna crash our defensive line down and we're gonna show blitz. Okay, so you see it's gonna create this look. Now, white is going to be the primary person at which we are going to use her. So on the very first thing from an adjustments perspective, as far as what we're gonna do with this coverage, very first thing that I want you to do with this is I really want you to go ahead and shade your coverage down and then shade your coverage back up. And you're gonna see that it's gonna create kind of this little coverage right here. Now, the next thing that I want you to do on this on this uh, coverage defense is I want you to put two purple zones to either side of the field. So the linebacker that we're not using, Vontae David, we're going to put him into a purple zone. And then on the opposite side, we're going to put the defensive end on a purple zone, just like so. And then really, that's pretty much it. That's the basics of the coverage. Your primary responsibility is now going to be to lurk the middle of the field. If you feel like you need a, um, a user helper or, or something like somebody to do this with you, then what I would do is go ahead on this right side and actually take that guy and put him into a deep half zone um, and then take that corner or that safety and go ahead and drop him into a, uh, a purple or a hook zone just like this right here. But you see this is basically the coverage. We're gonna rush two people and then a blitzer is gonna count for four so we don't get pancaked. But this is pretty much the coverage that I like. And the reason why I like this against Gun Bunch is I'm going to run one of the most popular concepts. And I just want you to watch this corner route uh, and what this coverage is going to do to the corner route. So what you're going to see here is your outside quarter is actually going to go to the corner route. Now, in this game mode, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but he seems to have a little bit of an issue like actually making the play. I think part of that's just because of the fact that we've got him in a kind of a wonky um, alignment and there is an easy way uh, around that and I'll show you that in just a second 
but you saw that he really does and really will deter your opponent from running it because what we're getting when we call that cover six is we're getting actually a match coverage type of technique that is going to be played on that outside player. So I'm going to come out and cover six again. And if you don't want to show blitz, that's fine. You can just simply press your coverage. Um, but I like to show blitz because it brings my safeties into the box. The big thing that I would tell you is with this guy right here, just kind of drag him out to the numbers a little bit. I think that that helps a little bit with this. And then again, we're just going to shade our coverage inside, or I'm sorry, shade our coverage down, shade our coverage up. And then really important, shade your coverage to the outside. And you're going to see that that's going to help a lot when it comes to um, the basics of the basic mechanics of the coverage. But anyways, you see we've created our, our coverage shell. And then I'm going to run this concept one more time. And what you'll see is this quarter zone. You know, he just does a really good job of kind of getting there. I can click on to him and be able to go over and make a play relatively easy to the way that we had been doing it up until this point. Now, the other thing that I want to quickly highlight with this coverage um, is the fact that your flats are on 15 and your curl flats are on five. So um, another popular play that you're going to get out of Gun Bunch is the verticals play this year. And there's a couple different ways to run verticals. So I'm going to show you the first one. Um, the first one is kind of an old way, old school way of doing it. But I just want to show you kind of what this looks like with the Mabel coverage on that side. And what we're going to do is we're just going to motion this guy out. Let him kind of set his feet and then we're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see here is that that zone stands a decent chance at getting out there to guard it. Now, if you wanted it to guard it a little better, um, what you can do is you, you've got a couple of options. The first one that you can do is you can actually um, essentially leave that, that slot corner on his stock purple zone, um, or you can basically put him on a purple zone like a curl flat. That will help him play this very, uh, very much so. So I could just take this guy and put him on a curl flat and then put the nose tackle or the defensive end on the left in a hard flat. Now I've created basically the same coverage. It's just coming from different people. So these are, when I talk about adjustments, this is what I'm getting at. How do you actually adjust? You know, do you need to put a purple zone over there? Or do you just need to put, you know, a, you know, a, a hook curl? Right? What do you what do you actually need to do for the defense? So here, this is like a great example of that. So now they're going to go back to that little wheel route concept on that left side, and now we've got you know pretty good coverage. We just want to make sure we're always shading our coverage to the outside, and we're always pass committing if we think it's going to be a pass. And now you'll see how much more so he'll jet out there. And if you click on to that guy, you're going to have a decent chance at actually getting out there and making a play. Uh, on the football. So that's another way that you can kind of defend that specific uh, setup out of vertical. So let me show you another little thing. Um, I just want to kind of show you and give you some tools uh, for this play of verticals. And one of those is simply cross manning. You certainly can do that as well. Um, you can always feel free. In, in any coverage video I do, um, you have the complete freedom, obviously, to you know do whatever you want to do if, if you don't want to do what I want to do. So, uh, that being said, um, these hard flats, I find that they play this really well with that purple zone. And let me just flip this real quick. Kind of show blitz and get this back to where I want it to be. So, you see, we've kind of got created that concept there. Get our defense kind of spread out just a little bit. But if you watch, as long as this this quarter zone um, does his job and really his job is to stay out wide he actually goes inside a little bit more than I'd like him to but you see that he's kind of in the area um, in terms of defending that so we've taken the corner out away we've taken um, and we've taken this little snap throw streak type of read away but now I want to go over um, another route that's really popular out of verticals and that is the slot just streaking circle. Um, so what you'll see here is against that cover six, you're gonna see if they try to do that, you're gonna have a guy in the area, so that's not really a great option. In fact, really any uh, any major seam read out of this for, out of this is not gonna be an option. I could I can't throw anybody. Um, you'll see here that you know if I try to throw 
the R1 receiver. That quarter zone is going to do a really good job of coming up, and it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one type of scenario. So you're going to be able to get in front of the slot streaks. You're also going to be able to get in front of the wheel route on the opposite side as well. Um, another thing that you can consider is changing these around. So if you put maybe your flats on, maybe you put your flats on, um, oh, what was I gonna say? Maybe you put your flats on 15 and your curl flats on five. Um, that's gonna, you know, again, I would just tinker around with that, see what you like. The flats on 15, I think they do a little better job against these wheel routes. The other thing that I actually really like to do, especially against Gun Bunch, because of that wheel route being so good, is I really do like to base a line and show blitz. And the main reason why, um, or the main reason why is because you see that that slot corner gets out just a, just a little baby step to the right. And what you'll see happen now is he's going to be in a little bit better of a position to defend this snap throw to the wheel, pass lead that right, you see right there, he's able to intercept that. So that is um, kind of a little bit of a concept that you might want to use. Uh, the one thing I would advise you to know about Gun Bunch in particular is you don't actually get, and we'll show this in a replay, you don't actually get very poor alignment. If you look at the motion out, you're gonna see that you still have outside leverage on the right, and you still have outside leverage on the left, and you're playing cover two defense. Now, I do want to go over the slot or the streak to the square receiver out of this. So, for example, if I were to uh, combine and gun bunch verticals, and let's say that I were to go, you know, maybe after the opposite side. So you see here, kind of got my zones, and we're going cover six. So let's say that I did this. You see that this left side corner is misaligned, okay? Um, what I like to do is if I take this guy and just kind of move him to the numbers, I find that that helps. So kind of move those two a just a little bit, slightly. And obviously you're setting your coverage up so you do stuff like this. Um, you know, basically creating your coverage. But this is the gist of it. And then what you're going to see on this left side is if I try to just throw a streak, I have free access to the streak. But you see the deep half basically takes that away. So I'm actually a big fan of this because what this allows me to do is to kill a couple birds with one stone. I can have that, that outside cloud flat play motion slant or um, post routes, crossing routes, things like that. And then I've got my deep half over the top for the vertical. What I also like is, um, let's say that they run, you know, I think I got the ball now on the other side, but let's say that they run like a play um, similar to flood or even uh, double post, this becomes very effective because what you're gonna see, and that's it again, five, 15 and five, um, you're gonna see here, if I go to the cover six, there's no press out of this. Um, there's no press out of this. so. You know, you set your coverage up kind of like that. And then let's just say for, you know, kind of the illustration purposes that this is your base coverage. And then you're going to be kind of usering, you know, essentially here. Um, and then I want you to watch this play flood. So what you're going to see happen is the dig route is going to get open, obviously. But that's where your user responsibility is and i did want to show the instant replay on that just so you can see a quick interaction between the corner um between the corner and the wide receiver so if you look over here you're going to see this interaction so you get a free release now really pay attention to this purple you see the purple really drifts out but he doesn't cover anything his main thing is he's covering table routes right but what you can do is with a 15 yard zone like that, you actually gain a little bit of flexibility if they're not forcing it to the flat. What I mean by that is I could just come out and cover six, and let's say I'm the running gun bunch. One of my favorite, absolute favorite adjustments is I'll actually leave this linebacker on this vertical hook, and you'll find that he'll jump a lot of things that you might not have thought. So 
you're just going to kind of use them right in here. And then obviously you're going to have like your, your curl flat, hard flat concept over there to stop flood. But if you take a look at this now, let's say I'm in something like a mesh post. Now I've got a vertical hook that I can use to get out there and really take that route away. He didn't jump the route, but as you saw, he was right in the area of which they were going to throw that. Eventually they'll jump that if that was a safety. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I think that it's really important to put safeties at linebacker in this scheme. Um, unless they have the lurker ability, but he gets in a really good advantageous spot for this. So, because remember, your user is going to be David. You know, so you're coming down in this little this little area right here. Another thing that I like to do, let's say that they're not throwing a lot of flood on me, then I'll just run the quarters, the two quarters, and the quarter flat. And what I've found that that does um, specifically against things like a corner streak flat is you know really not that bad so again we'll just show you here left side and you see i mean he is open there but um but the, he's it's confusingly open it's confusingly open um it's not like they just drop back and they're looking right at a wide open player and they're gonna throw it because it's open they're gonna have to either, you know, kind of know what they're doing, or know, you know, that they can throw that read, um, you know, blind basically. Because if you actually watch the interaction, it's there's nothing about the interaction that would tell you that oh, this is gonna be open. They're actually falling into the spot better uh, in the way that we've created this coverage. So, anyways, let me show you one last thing with this corner route again, the baseline feature. Um, and then the shading out aspect. So again, maybe you vertical hook this guy, or maybe you just man him up on the running back if you want to. And then as you see, you're gonna kind of sit like right in here. So now on this back side, that soft spot's really good against things like C routes. And then obviously, like I said, you've got your quarters covered. So pass lead that to the right. There you see, now he plays it perfectly and he takes that away. So that is the beauty of this defense is it's going to help you a lot with three by one sets because the toughest part about a three by one set is the street corner flat to the trip side i think is super difficult this year to guard this is a great way to guard it and keep and keep really good integrity on the back side of your defense so anyways that being said that's kind of my base coverage right now um, I've been doing this. I've been doing that a lot. Um, it's one of my number one plays that I call. So if you want to learn the rest of the plays that I call and why I call them and how to stop the run and how to blitz and how to blitz with only two people against Max Protect, um, I would encourage you to pick up my gun or my uh, nickel three three five odd defensive guide. Like I said, it's on sale for just fifteen bucks in the description. All you gotta do is go down to the description. Click on the little website link that says click here for the guide. It'll take you right to the website where you can sign up for it. It's not a recurring payment of $15. It's a one-time payment of $15 uh, for it, and you get access to it for life. So any updates that come to that specific formation or the coverage, we will put it in there for you completely free of charge. So anyways, that is the um, that is the. 335 odd defense that I like to use at least right now um, for defending the gun bunch. The gun bunch is the toughest offense to stop, but if we can learn some concepts that can help us get some advantages underneath, I think it's a super helpful thing to do. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get that defensive guide, I put a link in the description. All you gotta do is go down and click the link, and it'll take you right to the website where you can pick up the defensive guide for just 15 bucks.